Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, what is motion sickness? Have you ever felt sick to your stomach, like when you're on a rocking boat or a bumpy airplane ride? Or what about that feeling you get after you've got off a roller coaster? That's motion sickness. First you start to feel dizzy and maybe even start to sweat, but then it gets worse and worse that you end up throwing up. Motion sickness is sometimes referred to as seasickness or car sickness. It's the feeling you get when the motion you sense with your inner ear is different from the motion you visualize. So what causes motion sickness? Motion sickness is caused by mixed signals sent to the brain by your eyes and your inner ear. If you can't see the motion your body's feeling, or if you can't feel the motion your eyes see, then it's likely that the brain will get mixed signals, and you'll develop some symptom of motion sickness. For example, if you're in the cabin of a moving ship, your inner ear may sense the motion of the waves, but your eyes don't see any of this movement. This conflict between the senses causes motion sickness. Ever noticed how you might get sick riding in a car? But if you're the driver of that car, you feel just fine. That's because as the driver, you know where you're going and how fast you're driving, so your eyes will tell your brain that information. With technology constantly advancing, new things like virtual reality headsets are being created. But these headsets are sometimes known to cause dizziness related to motion sickness. This is a big hurdle that virtual reality companies are facing and are looking for ways to reduce the sickness people feel when using them. Motion sickness can definitely be a drag, but there are several things you can do to prevent it. Whether it be sitting in the ideal direction when traveling or simply having access to fresh air, you must find the right balance in order to feel your best. So that answers what is motion sickness. That took some thinking.